So the new Sony FX3 software has just released and guys, it's packed with a ton of new features. Now today I'm not diving into what those features are because I plan to make a completely separate video where I take this camera on a full day's shoot and then come back and tell you guys about my experience. So today my plan is to walk you guys through how to update your Sony FX3 because for me personally, I found it quite difficult and I really didn't see anyone do a full step-by-step -step tutorial online. All right guys, so let's dive in. I'll be leaving this website linked below in the description. But once you get to the website, you just want to click on whatever system you have. For today, I'm going to be walking through Mac. So once you're in here, there's actually something that you have to do before you download the actual update itself. And you can actually read that right here. So if you scroll down, you will see that basically what you have to do is download the drivers. So right here, it tells you what your drivers are that you need to download. So if you have an Apple computer that has an Intel processor, you wanna click this second one. If you have a new Apple Silicon processor, then you wanna click this first one. Now, once you click on that, it's gonna take you directly to the download page. And so you wanna go ahead, read through the terms and conditions, and then right down here at the bottom, it gives you the option to download it. Now, once you download that, you will get this screen on your computer. So basically what you wanna do is just double tap and install it. Now, right after you finish the installation, you will get this alert right here. So what we wanna do is actually click this and it's gonna take us right in here. So we need to unlock it with our password. Now, once we do that, we actually need to restart our computer. Now, when we do that, like this prompt says, we need to hold down the power button until we get into this certain setting that's gonna allow us to enable what we need to get this update on our camera. So once we click that button, it's gonna completely shut down. Okay, so once your computer has completely powered off, all you wanna do is press and hold the power button. You're gonna hear the chime and then you're gonna see it say continue holding for startup options. Now once you see that, you wanna continue holding, loading startup options, and then you can let go. Now once you're in here, you wanna click options, continue. You wanna check whatever language you have. I'm assuming that's English. Next you wanna go in here and you wanna actually click on your user icon, put in your password and it's going to allow you to get in. Now once you're in here, you wanna to go to the top, you wanna to click on utilities, you want to click on startup security utilities and then you want to get here now for some of you guys you may have already started right here once you got past the user icon so basically all you want to do is hit unlock and then it's going to ask you to put in your password now from here you're going to see this button appear right at the bottom that says security policy you want to click that and then you want to go down here to the bottom and click reduced security so the important thing is that you want to go down here and make sure that you have this one checked off Now, once you've done that, you wanna click OK, put in your password again, and it's actually gonna take these settings that we chose and apply them to the computer. Now, after that, we wanna go back up here to the top and we want to restart the computer. So now that your computer has booted back up, you wanna go back over to the Sony website, and then right over here is actually time to download the update and install it to our camera. So just like before, we're just reading through the policies and then we're actually gonna download the update this time. Now, before we actually plug in our camera and update it, there are a few things that I wanna let you know. If you have any custom menu settings at all, they will be completely deleted after this update. And so if you want to save those, then follow this next step. If you don't want to save those, then skip over this next step using the chapter markers below. So first you want to make sure that you go over to manual. And then once you enter into there, you want to click menu and go all the way over to the toolbox setting. Now right in here, you're going to see the setting called reset slash save settings. Right in here, you want to go over, make sure that you have an SD card in the camera and then save slash load settings. And we're going to actually save our settings. So this is not something that you have to do, but if you decide that you don't like the new update for any reason and you wanna go back and you want your old menu settings, then you have those available to load back into your camera once you're on the older firmware. So going right back over to our computer, we wanna double click and open the actual updater. We're gonna get these different prompts, but all you wanna do is click open. And then you're gonna be prompted to enter your password just like this. Once you get through that, you're gonna have this security and privacy setting pop up and you want to unlock your computer and then click allow. And then it's going to ask you for your password again. You want to click OK and then it's actually going to have you restart your computer one more time. 
So once your computer finishes restarting, you wanna go back onto your computer and actually open the updater one more time. It's gonna give you the same prompt like last time. You just wanna click open. And then right here, you can actually see we have our installer, but it wants us to put on our password again. All right, and so now it's actually time to install this onto our camera. So go over to your network settings and make sure that you have it set to USB so that your computer can actually recognize the camera. Now, all you wanna do is go through all the prompts on the computer and then you have the update. Now again, I do plan on making a video in the future where I talk about my experience after shooting for one full day with this new menu system. But if you guys are interested in knowing what some of the features are right now, then I recommend that you go check out this playlist right over here from Sony's YouTube channel. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.